St Vincent's School for Blind and the Partially Sighted are taking visually impaired students and war veterans on an intergenerational learning experience back to the Belgian city of Ypres to commemorate the first gas attacks of 1915, from which many charities for visually impaired emerged. Before they headed off on their venture, many dignitaries presented wreaths of remembrance to the children, which will then be laid at poignant locations throughout the tour. We're commemorating sight loss. Ypres, the first battle, 1915. German gas attack, it blinded a lot of soldiers and most of the charities that you see today that came out of that gas attack, such as Blind Veterans UK, which used to be St Dunstan's, and actually the RNIB. So these charities have their roots in the gas attacks. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be commemorating sight loss, but we're going to be commemorating, you know, this horror, but future thinking, future hope. Where's the employment for blind soldiers and blind children? Because it currently stands at 84% unemployment for, for pupils, young children. Where's the employment? So what we're going to be doing is a mix of historical tours, but with the Spree tours, we've put on a very special tour for us. So I'm, I'm grateful to Spree and I'm grateful for Liverpool One here for giving us the space. We've got a range of reads from different organisations, obviously the Lord Lieutenant, the High Sheriff, the Lord Mayor, the Chief Constable fire service, um, rotary, all of these reeds are going to go with us and each one has a special meaning and the reason they've been invited to give a reed. We're going to be laying those at the Menin Gate and certain spaces in Belgium where the sight loss uh, battles happened. So each of those stages are going to be recorded. We've got a film company which is Through Our Eyes, it's another startup company, another Liverpool first. Um, that company's coming with us and we're going to make a social, moral, spiritual and cultural learning resource from it.